Confident, vibrant, and quirky with an edge, this is 10 Minutes with Tiffany J, featuring the inside scoop on her mind, embodying interests, thoughts, and opinions. Also, the day in the life of an upcoming artist as she juggles the world around her, a 9 to 5, along with a handful of gifts and talents that will blow your mind. All things Tiffany J on her website at www.misstiffanyj.com. Now, let's get into the show. I am at the center of my nucleus, right? That's how it should be. However, I'm finding that I'm the only one and the only thing that connects everyone in my world. And I'm spiraling out of control, trying to keep it together. All of my paths that intersect have no idea about the other. I often watch major celebrities, listen to podcasts and interviews of high-performing individuals and wonder, how are they keeping it together? I believe we've had the same workload and definitely the same amount of time in the day. So what's up? Well, one thing I know that separates me from those at that level is they have a team that works for them. Someone who helps handle their schedule, a glam squad and a CFO to name a few. This staff may be on a payroll where I feel it's out of my league to maintain such a high pedigree of team members. That's right. There's my negative thinking taking charge again. Because even though this is the case, I must remember that everyone has to start from somewhere. It begins with surrounding yourself around like-minded people who share your same vision and see where they can assist and how it relates to their own hopes and dreams. All of our lives is like a web. They connect so intricately and it's in our best interest to find the way that we link seamlessly. We are always on the come up, the come up from our latest project or major event we hosted the sponsorship, commission, or contract deal to be the A-lister that we see ourselves to be. This creates a lifestyle of constant transition. The entertainment industry is just that, an ebb and flow of personalities, gifts, talents, business ventures galore. As technology enhances, so does the ability to create things beyond our wildest dreams. In all of this, I find it difficult and easy at the same time to focus on me. I'm told from all legs of my life to focus on you and I think how sway when how when each person speaking has their own version of you and agenda that they see your life to end up as so let's break down this day-to-day walk in the life of Tiffany J on how she wants to focus on herself versus what actually happens and the confusion on how to balance it all my very first thought just now is I'm going to map out how I want my life to be. And I laugh on the inside because I think, wow, what if this actually happens? So let's begin. I work as a frame shop manager. I design and assemble pictures and art into frames for people to display into their homes. I would love to have a contract with the company where I'm on call and people can request me personally via appointment to have a consultation. The Tiffany J experience I've heard is like none other. And then I can clock in for about four hours and help out with production. 70%. Next, this opens up time for my music career to travel for performances, speaking engagements, radio interviews, and more. To my music business people, you get what all of this entails. 17%. Then in my free time, I want to come to a studio in my home and create art to sell. In hoping that music will have become the stepping stone that it is set up to be. My art, in addition to lyrical content in the form of a book, will be up for grabs by art lovers, local and beyond, 2%. I want to continue to dance with the Purple Charlotte Steppers Club, host the Purple Thursday experiences, so whenever and wherever I am in the world, I can fly back or zoom in to the experience and still be a part of it weekly, 5%. Lastly, I want to have the freedom of time to travel to see friends and family without the stress of missing out on them or a business venture because there's not enough time or money in the pot, 6%. In this universe, I believe it gives me fulfillment. I desire the mental space to handle all of the contingencies of life. What I just stated before. Currently, I'm doing all of this, but the percentage wise, each area does not get the amount of attention that I deem necessary for a fully balanced life. The percentages that I stated after each was what I'm currently giving. At work, I interact on a day-to-day basis with uh, closely uh, two team members, 
and then at most 10 to 20 of the general public on a great sales day um, five times a week. With roughly about 40 to 70 and at most 100 orders to complete per week, memorizing about 50 names and the details of the projects within each day, my mind can get pretty full. So on this end, I have the demand from my customers, corporate and my mom who wants me to focus on my career and maintain a sense of stability as I get older. On the music end, each year, 646 Entertainment Group expands in music and marketing. This year, 2020 and 2021, we've branched out and have been heavily working with the Worldwide Fleet DJs, a coalition that supports each other regionally and abroad, hosting events and conferences to keep A-list and upcoming artists in the mix, as well as groom new and refine veteran DJs. What's interesting is my music manager, like my mom, wants me to focus on me. However, his tune is geared all towards music. I handle all of my social media platforms and maintain my website. I've connected with people and come up with a creation team for when it's time to launch a full-fledged project, which we are in the middle of doing with this new single. Calling me. (laughs) Up next is a video treatment. Studying interviews and looking the part in reference to my brand takes effort, and I realize now more than ever my life will forever be intertwined. I'm always on call as an artist, even when I'm at work. He thinks I'm all over the place, but then in the same breath commends me or commands me to um, keep doing what I'm doing. It can be very confusing when from outside looking in, people have no idea of the internal turmoil. I believe we are all going through our same version of this type of lifestyle. And the difference is how we're handling it. I've always been busy and had a lot to do from middle school, being in clubs, running track, IB program, which is International Baccalaureate was what it stands for. And then going to church three times out of the week, it translates as the same level of commitment that I've been giving and most likely will continue to give. I stumbled upon The Brendan Show by Brendan Burchard, who was a high performance coach. His five to 30 minute podcast helped me to think outside the box and delay my emotional response, which prior to could be giving the impression that I can't handle all that I'm dealing with. We all have been grown, excuse me, we've all grown up from different backgrounds and have had different habits we've inherited and just learned over time, whether they're good or bad. Now to undo those and create healthy ones can be the biggest challenge yet. Refining boundaries, saying no, putting rest on the calendar. These are the important things that I do believe in the last three years I've been doing so much better at. The only person that can see my immediate growth in this arena is my store manager. He sees me on a daily basis and can attest to my progress. However, others cannot. It is because or is it because they don't have constant interactions with me, thus only recalling who they've known in the past, uninformed that I am not that individual anymore. Because of this, I become very defensive um, to protect this new person that I'm coming to be. I'm going to therapy next week and would love to uh, get a better approach on how to deal with this. Nevertheless, it is not my job to appease the thoughts and opinions of others. I will focus on self by delaying my emotional response to give time to process what's being said, knowing that it is out of my is out of love that these individuals pour their very souls into my now for a better future. That was another edition of 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. Now you can get more episodes on my website at www.misstiffanyj.com. But don't stop there. Hop on over to the music tab and check out your favorite Tiffany J record, starting with my latest singles, Work For It and Call Me, which is on all digital platforms. Also with a bomb video showcase on YouTube featuring the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, y'all, this is for the few people that I rock with. And if you want to connect with any of them for their expertise and their craft, hit me up so that I can link you. First, I want to shout out my indie label, 646 Entertainment Group. It's a one-stop shop for the ultimate music experience, artist development, engineering, road management, business awareness on how to properly release your songs, get royalties, and more. Next, I want to shout out No Gossip, Just Talk with Tanisha and Mitra, who inspired me to step outside of my comfort zone and start this podcast. I pop up every now and then with a topic, and we have a blast with Girl Talk 101. 
special attention needs to be drawn to my boy, Serian, for answering my prayers and becoming a part of my journey musically and beyond. More to come as life unfolds. I'll save some for later. Now, my jewel, no pun intended, is my accountability partner who has like the exact same mind as me. When we link, things happen in the atmosphere. I am so glad we crossed paths. Angel, my love, you are an inspiration. Dance fitness is a lifestyle, and you do it with such ease. If anyone wants to be fit, curvy, wavy, let me know. We can get our dance craze on with Angel. She's also one of the guests of No Gossip Just Talk, so make sure you check her out there. Last but not least for now, the Purple Charlotte Steppers Club, which embodies an entire dance community of some of the best people I've met on the planet. You'll see me live there Thursday at 6.30 on YouTube. YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram with the Purple Thursday Experience. Now, if you listening to this need ad space and want to join the platform, DM me and we'll discuss membership so that we can get your business out there. Reserve your spot is next with Purple Charlotte Steppers Club. You all take care. What's up, Dance World? This is your boy, Herschel KG. This beautiful lady is... I'm Tiffany J. If you missed out last week, you do not want to miss out this week because no. last week was lit. Amazing. So, if you want to be in the building, make sure you go to purplecharlotte.com. Purple Reserve your spot. Yeah. Okay? And if you can't make it, it's all right because you can go to Purple Charlotte Steppers Club on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And do what? Join us live. 6.30 on Thursdays. We'll see you there, okay? We your host, Tiffany J. Herschel KG. Uh. Deuces. We'll see you there.